Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the land of verbs. I say that because um, uh, so far we have been dealing with non-verbal sentences, meaning we are using nouns and adjectives uh, to make a complete sentence and sentences. Uh, but now we're going to um, look at the beginning very beginning of the verbs. Verbs meaning um, action word. Um, I'm going to restrict myself, first of all, to the present tense. Present tense meaning action, ongoing action, or action that is going to happen later. That's present tense. Um, askuno, teskuno, teskunina, yeskuno, teskuno. Let's analyze this. You will notice there are uh, beginning, we have some of these letters which are highlighted in red. Uh, th those are the uh, present tense uh, letters. We need to attach that, the beginning uh, of the, the verb to indicate that it, this is a present tense. When we have Alif and Hamza, um, that is I format, and there is no gender, uh, a, a lady will start with that. The man also will start with that. For instance, we say as ku no. As, as ku no. I live. I live. As ku no. But when I start with ta, tes ku no. You masculine singular. Now I'm talking to a single male. So I will say tes ku no. In Arabic, when I say singular, because the plural in Arabic starts from three, not from two. So we have uh, singular, we have dual, and we have plural. But in this particular book, we just restrict ourselves to singular format only. Inshallah, God willing, later on in the series, when I uh, be teaching you maybe from book three of Gateway to Arabic, then we will go uh, deeper into how the, the, the how to construct Arabic uh, verbs. But for now, we have askunu I, teskunu you masculine singular, teskunina you feminine singular. You notice that I start also with ta for both you masculine singular and you feminine singular. But the ending, the case ending for talking, speaking to singular female is different. Here, tesku no. Here, it tesku nina. Anytime you are using a verb to speak to a single female, the ending will be ina. You will see that when we use another verb to illustrate this, inshallah. Now, yeah, that's for he format. Yes, no. He lives. And teskunu, she lives. Now, here you have the term for male singular, second person you are talking to them. And teskunina, the same thing, you start with ta, uh, speaking directly to uh, a singular uh, female. When, when you say she, she also starts with ta. In a sense, it's similar or identical to you feminine, uh, you masculine singular. However, uh, the the, um, the the when you are when you say she you would know you are talking about third person. By the way, when I say first person, second person, and third person, meaning in grammar term, meaning askunum, I am the first person. The speaker is first person. Teskunum, when you are speaking to somebody uh, uh, directly in front of you, say you. That means second person. So. I'm the first person, I'm speaking to you now, so you are second person. But if I'm speaking to you about somebody else, that somebody else is third person. I'm the first, you are the second, and then the other person which is not here with us is the third person. Um, so, askunu, teskunu, teskunina, yeskunu, and teskunu. Let's now relate that to the uh, sentences here. Um, I live in London, as kuno fee in London, as kuno fee, 
I live, أسكنو, in, في, London. أسكنو في London. مع, that means with, أبي, my father. و, and, أمي, my mother. أسكنو في London. مع, أبي, وأمي. Now, once you know the structure and the template, when we use another verb, you will be able to convert them or apply them uh, to match this structure. So, askuno, teskuno, you masculine singular, you say, do you live next to the mosque, O oh, Hassan? Hel, teskuno. Now, teskuno on its own meaning, you live. I say you are, you are dwelling, you stay somewhere. Teskuno. But this hell is changing the sentence into a question. That's why we have do you. From you live and then say, do you live next to Bijanib? Next to Bijanib. Bijanibil Masjidi. Bijanibil Masjidi. Next to, to the mosque. Yeah, Hassan. Hassan. Oh, Hassan, do you live next to the mosque? Hal teskunu bijanib al masjid? Yeah, Hassan. Of course, you can start with Yeah, Hassan if you wish. You can say, Yeah, Hassan, hal teskunu bijanib al masjid? Or any other place that you know in Arabic. So I can say, Hal teskunu bijanib al maktabati? Do you live next to the library? or to the bank, if you like, or to any other places, once you know the, uh, the vocab for it. Next, now, you, feminine singular, speaking to a single female directly in front of me, teskunina, you live. Now, we use the same structure here. Hel teskunina ma'a uhtiki ya Fatima. Fatima is a female name. Hel teskunina. Do you live? Ma'a, that's with your sister. Uhtika. Ya Fatima. O Fatima. Hal teskunina ma uhtiki ya Fatima. Next, yeskunu, he lives. He lives. Hussein lives in a house. Yeskunu Hussein. في بيت in a house بجانب المدرسة next to the school بجانب المدرسة next to the school the last line تسكن she lives تسكن سلمى في بيت متسع وحديث we have this vocab before the متسع you know uh, spacious Hadith, modern. We have bait as well. Salma is living in a spacious modern house. Teskunu Salma fi baytin mutasa'in wa hadith. Now, you note here, let's make, those of you who are familiar with grammar, the word set, uh, uh, order in Arabic and in English. In English, I say, I live in London. You can see the I one is hiding after the verb in Arabic. So, askunu fi London ma'abi wa ummi. Here, the more, much more clear here, when you say, yeskunu Hussein. Hussein is subject here, but we start with the verb in Arabic. When you say, I do something, or she does, or he lives. You're starting with a verb. Yeskunu Hussein. In Arabic and in English you say Hussein. You start with the subject. But Arabic you start with a verb. Yeskunu Hussein fi baytin bijani bil madrasa. Or teskunu Salma. Salma is the subject here. But uh, in, 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 in English you say Salma is living in a spacious and or modern house. But in Arabic, teskunu Arabic, you start with the verb. The, the normal order is verb, subject, 
an object. We will know that, inshallah, later on, the full analysis of the subject, uh, uh, verb, subject, and object. Now, yeah, on page 28 uh, and 29, there are more vocabulary to help you to practice this. So what I want you to do for me, please, 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 is go to page 28, uh, read all the explanation, which is uh, fully laid down clearly for you there. Then do the exercise 24, to, uh, 24 and 25. Exercise 24, we have the Arabic, which you need to translate it into, uh, into English. That's hopefully, that will be easier. Then you have this one paragraph. That's one paragraph needs to be translated from English to Arabic. If you've been following these carefully and you've been doing your homework properly, which I believe you are, then this paragraph should become much, much easier for you. And that is, it's what you need to translate. Uh, my name is Salma. I live far from the town in a small village in the countryside. I am living in a spacious old house on a quiet road by the sea. I live with my mother and father. Behind my house is a large garden and a tall tree. The garden is filled with flowers and plants. My friend Fatima lives in a small shop in the village on the main road near to the school. My friend Hakim lives in a flat near the park between the library and the bank. Believe me, if you have been doing your homework, that will become much, much easier for you and fluent to, to write it and to, uh, to speak it. Uh, you have enough vocabulary now and the understanding of the structure so far. Now, page 30, again, there's an exercise 26 on page 30. So you, that, on that page, page 30, you'll be able to do the exercise 26. And as I mentioned before, the, the solution to all the exercises can be found on our uh, website, uh, www.gatewaytoarabic.com. Uh, you find a um, PDF there where you go and click on the book and there should be a solution for you there to download. To, to, to check your answers. So that is um, your task now. Do exercise uh, on page 29, exercise 24, exercise 25, and exercise 26. So let me one more reading there before uh, we finish this particular uh, um, uh, lesson. So, Askunu fi London ma abi wa ummi. If you want to practice your reading as well, you can repeat that after me, please. Uh, Askunu fi London ma abi wa ummi. Remember when we, we were learning how to read with me, you have the Alif Hamza Sukun Askunu. If you want to spell it out, you can just say Alif Hamza Fatha Sin Sukun as kaf dhamma ku noon dhamma noon as ku no fi as fa kasra ya mad as mean lengthening ya fi lam fatha noon sukun lan and then dal fatha da and then noon london ma'a mim fatha Ain fatha ma'a Abi alif hamza fatha a ba kasra yaw mad abi wa fatha wa alif hamza dhamma u mim shadda kasra yaw mad mi wa ummi So do the analysis and inshallah God willing, you find it easier and easier, inshallah. Askunu fi London ma abi wa ummi. Hal taskunu bijani bil masjidi ya Hassan. Hal taskunina ma uhtiki ya Fatima. Yaskun Hussein fi baytin bijani bil madrasati. 
تسكن سلمى في بيت متسع وحديث. Finally, let me call your attention to preposition. So we have fi here, preposition. ما is a preposition. بجانب uh, is behaving like a preposition. Uh, ما is a preposition. That's why you have أختي. يا فاطمة يسكن في في is a preposition. Hence you have this genitive uh, uh, case ending. في بيت بجانب المدرسة. Again, تسكن سلمى في بيت متسع. That's adjective. The match. That's the male, masculine, masculine. Case ending is the same. وحديثين. Also case ending the same. And the gender is the same. So, good luck with exercise number 24 and 25 and 26 on page 29 and page 30. Well done. See you later. Inshallah. Ma'a salama. Fi amanillah.